After Effects. Test, boom, click on save. First of all, you can see like rendering at 920 by 1080. What's happening guys? My name is Alex, it is Monday, so it's a new video and actually today I'm going to show you guys the best settings, the 720p render settings for After Effects. So let's say you want to render out your project in 720p, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, you know, how to pick the perfect settings for YouTube. So I would say let's jump straight into the video. Alrighty then. So as you guys can see, this is just me the intro and I just dragged this in After Effects. So I'm not going to do any editing like, you know, brightness and contrast. It's not about that. It's just, you know, purely about the rendering. This rendering process takes like it's a bit different than Sony Vegas because in Sony Vegas you pick the template and you press render but on After Effects you need to add it to a render queue or something so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so let's just pretend I just finished editing a video and you have selected everything and you want to render it out so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on composition you want to click on add to a render queue and as you guys can see at the bottom there's no box popping up like in Sony Vegas but it's at the bottom you can choose um, like some kind of things you want so let's say first you know output too that's where you're gonna save the file so i'm just gonna save it to my desktop let's just call this after effects test boom click on save so once you've selected you know uh, the location where you want to save it you want to click on render settings as you guys can see boom and then there actually you know pops up a box so the first thing is i'm just gonna run through everything i'm not gonna explain why i'm just gonna run through everything you need to do because it's actually those are the best settings you need those are the settings you need for you know for you for the best rendering results so let's start off with the quality. Of course, you want to put that to best. Why not? The resolution, you want to put that on full. The size is just 920 by 1080. That's what I use. Uh, the disk cache, I would like to uh, you know, leave it to read only because I wouldn't touch that. Those effects, you know, the proxy and, you know, um, all the effects and and all those solo switches, just leave it how they are because they don't, I don't know. I don't. We don't need to edit them. I don't know why we should, you know, edit them. It's only like about the quality. So we're going to leave those settings. As you can see at the right hand side, I'm just going to leave it how they are. So let's move on to the bottom of the of the box and it says like frame blending uh you just want to keep that you know on on for checked layers of course uh the field render you want to keep that off you don't want to have like upper or lower field first just you know keep that on off and here actually you're gonna select your fps like frame rate so you can see like just the standard 60 fps but let's say i want to use 30 fps you're going to click on this one and you can select actually your, your, your fps so it's yellow so you can edit it so let's say i want to have like if you record your video in 30 fps you also want to render it out in, in 30 fps that's you know the logic thing but if you say like i just recorded in I don't know with my cam like with my Canon camera I filmed in like 50 FPS and you want to match it all you want to render it out also in 50 FPS you can fill in 50 that's basically your frame rate and also you can put in 60 if you you know record in 60 FPS that's basically how you you know how to select your uh, presets like your your FPS that's what I wanted to say there's where you can choose your FPS so this video is just recorded in uh, like with OBS in 50 FPS I'm just gonna put that on 50 the motion blur is just you know on for check layers and the time span is in the work area only so once we've done that you want to close that out as you can see when you just want to click on okay because we filled in everything then you want to click on the actual you know what it says like underneath it which is lossless as you guys can see you want to click that and here is actually you're gonna um, select your formats like you know uh, like AVI and before w, like WMV and all that kind of stuff you know your resolution you know you can pick like seven like nine like what was it like 920 by 1080 and like 1280 by 720 or something i'm not sure i'm not sure but you can just click on um format i would just recommend use avi because that's actually you know the most used format in after effects as you guys saw at the, at the best render settings if i go back for a second this is the resolution of your video so it says 1280 it says 920 by 1080 that's basically how i what i recorded so i'm just going to go back to lossless and i'm just going to select avi my format and then um, you just want to keep everything on like how, how it is like then you click on resize and here you can choose your uh, resolution if you want to have like 720p first of all you can see like rendering at 920 by 1080 because that's the quality I recorded but if you want to resize it to like 720p you just you can you can just fill in like 1280 by 720 and then we have actually you know 720p that's basically how you choose 720p and also what you want to do is actually the frame rate you also you you you, you, you just selected you know in the previous box you selected 
uh, 50 FPS. So what I'm gonna do now is I just filled in 1280 by 720. So that means I'm gonna render out in 720p 50 FPS. That's basically how it goes. You wanna put the quality on high, of course, and you chose the FPS in the in the previous box. And I would say the output, the audio output auto is like just this one. This is just the audio. I would just leave everything how it is. Then you want to click on OK. And then the next thing you want to do is you pre you want to press render. And as you guys can see, the video started rendering. And that's how simple it is. That's how you choose. That's how you render out your video in 720p. Make sure to check out my channel in two hours. For I'm going to show you guys how to render out your video in 1080p. All kind of, you know, formats like... Uh, 30 or 50 or 60 fps so that's it for this video guys really simple i know and i hope you guys enjoy so that was the video guys i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for continuing support i will see you guys tomorrow for two obs tutorials and also an extra video and actually guys i will upload like an extra video in one hour from now so the next two hours are going to be like two videos so make sure to stick around in one hour i have a special video and then two hours from now i'll be uploading another um, After Effects tutorial like the best settings for 1080p uh, like you know rendering so stay tuned for that I'll see you guys in one hour for the extra video so I will see you guys in a bit in about uh, four episodes it's gonna be the 22nd of May and then I have to find something else when I started using video editing software it was like I have my own patreon page you a fucking troll channelpages.com kind of nice weather and I'm a tight with just Alex Alford you know yes. it's his channel so that's a bit of a logic